It was done correctly, but we still have a long way to go. A sense of relief, Dwayne. Yeah, I, I know I speak for a lot of people in the world when I say I was sitting in front of the TV watching the verdict come down, and my hands start sweating, my body start shivering, and my heart start pounding because I was nervous. I was nervous because I didn't believe, right? I'm sitting in front of the TV and I didn't believe. And even, even when the verdict came down and, and all charges um, you know, that we wanted uh, was met, I still was staring at the TV listening to the judge because I was, I was thinking that it was an outcoming because we've never seen this, you know? And so today showed to me the, the power of community. Today, it gave us some sort of, we seen some sort of ability to see change, right? And if there was any win today, like Shaq said, this wasn't, you can't celebrate this, but if it was any win today, to me, it was a win for accountability. That's the only win today was a win for accountability. And so, you know, we have to continue to keep George Floyd's family uh, lifted up in our prayers. We have to continue to pray for healing for the black community across the world. Um, and to me, we got more work to do. Yeah. We all know that it's more work to do. And so the work is not done, but today was definitely um, a good day to see accountability have its justice, have its moment. I think today um, I like to flip channels because I think today we, we only listen and we only hear and we only reach out to the people that agree with what we agree and speak our same language. Right. And so I like to go through different TV shows and, and hear um, what everybody thought about today. I think one quote that stuck out, stuck out to me was Van Jones when he said, I woke up afraid to hope today. Mm. And it's not okay when you wake up afraid to hope. I also think just bringing this all together of the community, we're sitting here on a sports show speaking about justice and speaking about things that are going on within our court system. It's not okay to just be a bystander of justice or our political system or democracy. And I think democracy we think of as a destination and it's a continuous journey. Mm. And it has to be thought of that way. And just because we're athletes, just because we're stay-at-home moms or businessmen or doctors or lawyers, whatever we are, like we have to actively participate in that. Because if we don't, we're not doing our job and we're failing the generation that comes after us. Mm. And I, I just think you look at the past and how many people before had to die and had to not receive justice for this to happen today. And I just think we can't, we can't, we can't hide behind badges, money, power, race, gender. We can't hide behind those things because that's not justice. Mm. And we're lying to ourselves if we continue to think that. So although this was a step in the right direction, I think it's really about accountability, but it's also understanding that like this isn't it. There's right. far more trials that are going other directions that shouldn't, that don't, that aren't just. Mm. And so, yes, this is a step in the right direction. We still have so much more to go. It's a, it's a step just in this case as well. And with that in mind, we're going to bring in 